Step 7. Wait for the unit to operate debugging step 1 and 2 automatically. If the master module is incorrect, error code CC or CF will display on the LED3. CC means the system does not set the master module. CF means the system has more than two master modules. When a master module has been set successfully, LED3 will display OC and it will enter step 2 automatically. If no master indoor unit is detected in step 2, LED3 will display error code L7. In this case, all outdoor unit buttons are temporarily not functional. Users can set the master indoor unit through debugging software, wire controller, or remote controller within one minute. If no master indoor unit is set within one minute, the system will set a master indoor unit automatically. Then the system enters the next step automatically. Step A. Step 3 is to confirm quantity of outdoor unit. If the display quantity is consistent with the actually connected units, the unit enters step 4 automatically. If the display quantity is inconsistent with the actually connected units, power off the outdoor units and check whether the communication cables are connected correctly. Then perform debugging again. Note, it is very important to confirm the quantity of outdoor units. If the confirmed quantity is inconsistent with the actual quantity, the system may run improperly. Step 9. Step 4 is to confirm the quantity of indoor units. If the display quantity is consistent with the actually connected indoor units, please press Confirm button to enter step 5. If the display quantity is inconsistent, please check whether each indoor unit is power on and then check whether communication cable are connected correctly. Note, it is very important to confirm the quantity of indoor units. If the confirmed quantity is inconsistent with the actual quantity, the system may run improperly.